wanted to pop on and shoot another quick live. I know it's been a few weeks to talk about the often well-meaning but sometimes damaging ideas in psychology, psychiatry, psychotherapy of pathologizing, pathologizing certain effects. Basically, when you say something is wrong with you, that you have an order, a disorder, I should say, or you have a mental illness or that you're suffering from something. And very often what this means is that there's something wrong with you, that you have a defect, that you know, you're at fault, not that there's something systemically wrong, like you're struggling from poverty or you've suffered uh, a major or just cumulative minor traumas throughout your life. And it's always that, well, there's something wrong with me because I can't function and that's the inherent belief. And that's what leads to a lot of shame about you know, people who are struggling with a particular issue. And a better and kinder way to think of it is that you're reacting to something either right now, like you, you know, you lost a loved one or um, you lost your job, you lost a relationship, you lost some security. And it's just taking time to heal that you're reacting to something or you're reacting to something in the past, like some sort of thing that happened when you were four and your parents shouted at you because you walked towards the fire, but you didn't realize this. So you just get terrified of the want for and I'm, again, making a ridiculous idea just to prove the point that you're just reacting to something and you're just trying to keep yourself safe and you're trying to cope. And when you adapt this attitude, that instead of what's wrong with me, but what am I reacting to? How am I trying to protect myself here? It allows you to be kinder to yourself. And it also allows you to be kinder to other people. So rather than thinking about, well, they have problem behaviors, you can think, oh, they're reacting to something. They're acting out of fear. Maybe the actions were completely over the top in your opinion, but you can then say, well, they're reacting to something. And when we do that, we allow ourselves a much easier way of being kindness. Rather than there being something wrong with you, you're just reacting and you're just trying to keep yourself safe. So I dropped out, so hopefully you still got that last, but that's the intent of kindness this week, is that there is nothing wrong with you any of your reactions, any of your habits, um, be that your chocolate addiction, the fact that you stay up late, um, you struggle to be open and honest with people, whatever it is, it's nothing wrong with you. It's just a reaction and it's just trying to keep yourself safe and adopt a little bit more kindness towards yourself and others. Thanks.